So today we're going to tackle, well, start to tackle doing the doors. I just wrapped up on the uh, trunk lid, sanded all the backside and everything. So anyway, we're, we're going to go look at some doors now. We're going to go to the, uh, the parts dungeon next door. So there's my doors. I got four of them. So I parted out a 67 uh, Cyclone once. The only thing is each driver's side door has a big dent in it. What are the coincidences? You couldn't have one on the opposite so I could use one door versus the other, but no. So I'm going to drag these out and try to pick the best uh, pair out of them. And then I got to get all the glass out, which doesn't seem fun. And then we can start working on them. So I think I got it narrowed down. This is the passenger door. I think I'm going to use this from the original car. Of course, all four of the doors have rust in the corners. So this one does both sides. But overall, it's pretty, pretty good. It's got a little dinger here. But over, other than that, not too bad. I think I can just uh, replace each uh, corner. You know, so that'll be all right. And then I think I'm going to use the driver's door off the, this, the well, this one, which was off of a cycle. It's got a little bit of funkiness right here, like the door lip caught on something at one time. Of course, it's it's rusted out in the corner. This appears to be okay, but you know, further investigation. I poked at it with a hammer. It seems all right. And of course, this side's a little rusted out too. It's up kind of high too. Funny thing is, there's a piece on this back side, and it follows like right up through there, right exactly where the rust line is. On both on all corners this one too it goes right up through here so i say this one got a little funkiness let me get back here a little bit this one got a little bit of funkiness in here other than that it doesn't appear too bad so i think i'm going to use that one here's the other driver's door why well, i'm not using it you can probably see it in the reflection it's dented from here all the way up all the way into here I think I pushed it out at one time as it was a little more dented in from the back side but you know each corner is rusted out so I don't know I think I'm just gonna use that one but I have these as an option I mean might require a little more work so we'll, we'll go from there so I decided to uh, check this fender, I mean, door out before I uh, took, started taking the glass out. I want to see what I was getting myself into. I want to see if there was any more rust along here or anything. And I poked along around a lot with a hammer. I, I couldn't find any more holes anyway. But this funkiness up here is funky. See, this car was silver jade at one time. And then someone painted it green. You can see the primer, the silver jade, and then the green. Up here, it must have gotten into a little, I don't know what you call it. Something happened to it after they painted it because after they, over there you can just see those, the primer, silver, jade, and green. Over here though, lots of filler, green, the silver, jade, primer, filler, glazing putty. Uh, Ground out all the body filler. Got this big old whoop de doo thingy here. This thing just kind of just separated. Let me get it up there. The seam, you can really tell how funky it is. So, oh, I don't know. Goes all the way up into here. So, I might just, uh, Start working on the other door, see how that dent goes. And if I'm not very good at that dent, then maybe we'll get back to this door. Maybe I can cut the forward section out of that door and put it on this one or do some hammer and dolly work and get this a lot better. I don't know yet. So on to that door. The good news is uh, this uh, door that was dented in wasn't as bad as I thought. I uh, pushed on it. It kind of, I must have popped it out a little bit. But, uh, and then in here, I uh, 
pushed it, you know, actually I could get from the backside on this, so I popped it out and here's some little, little low spots in there. But the whole thing is really within like a 32nd, maybe to a 16th of an inch. And in my amateur world, that's good enough for me. Nothing a little body filler won't cover. Same here, managed to pound down a little bit. You can see it's a little bit low right there and through here, but you put a straight edge on there, it's, it's not really that bad. The bad part is looking through the back side of the door, I was hoping just to replace the corners, but it's like a surface of the moon in there of rust. So I really started poking and I ended up finding holes all the way up into here. So I'm gonna have to re like replace like that. And you know what? I'm gonna have to watch a video on this. I know my skills aren't, if I could keep it within this straight part here, I, uh, with this comp, this curve, I don't know about that. I'm, that'll probably be the end of this video. I'm gonna to do some research and build up the courage. I feel pretty confident about doing the straight part. But, man, I'd have to replace all that. I don't know. I'm, let me think about it. See ya.